Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. My name is Saima and this is part one of eight in a series called How to Get Started on Tarot. Believe it or not, after all these years, this is still the most common question that I get, so I thought I'd break it down into eight really simple steps on how to get started. So first off, I'm an all-star host on the platform, and basically what that means is that I'm somebody who is at the top of the Turo game. So you have the highest review ratings, the highest customer satisfaction ratings, and so on. And I've been doing this since 2015, I believe, consistently, and it's been a really fun, wild, and very exciting ride where I've had the opportunity to own some really cool cars like these guys back here and just really build out an entire business and an entire fleet of cars. And so after really thinking about what the very first step should be, what I really came to understand even for myself in hindsight is that first and foremost, you really want to think about mindset going into this, right? And as with anything, you want to have a clear mindset and really understand why you want to do what you want to do. Why do you want to get started on tarot? So really get clear about that objective. And what I can say is that if you're looking to get involved into in tarot right now, it's a great time. If you've been thinking about it, it's really time that you just do it, right? But know that mindset going into it. If you are getting Getting into Turo now, you know, you're no longer really an early adopter. And the reason why I say that is because if you are coming into this marketplace, one of the things that you want to go in with is that attitude of doing a really good job and providing a really great experience to your guests. And the reason for that is because by this point in time, there's already people in your area, in your markets who are doing a really great job at that. And that's who your sort of competing with. So when you enter the marketplace, and you definitely should because the demand is there so that there's space for you, this is a great time to do it. But you wanna go in with that mindset of that you're gonna do a really great job. You're gonna offer a great car that is a great value and people are gonna have a great experience. And that's a really important mindset to have because Turo at the end of the day is something that provides an experience. And that experience is that interaction between you and your guests and then your guests experience with the car. And it's actually in Turo's tagline as well. I believe their tagline is uh, rent the car, own the adventure. So they really want people to have cool experiences. Doesn't matter what type of the car, that you have listed, it could be anything, but it's different from the conventional way of renting. So as you think about why you wanna to do Turo, really start thinking about if you can wrap your mind around having this strong mindset of bringing value into the market and providing a great experience for your guests. So this is part one of eight, and I hope you guys like the next video. Thanks for watching, bye guys.